I'm just absolutely um, feeling so grateful and at home. Beautiful. Yeah, we are at home and we are home itself. We all is home. Home being is our being, universal being. Home is love and beauty and friendship and compassion. Home is the heart. Home is love our deepest desire and, and our reality. We desire that which we are, and the realization is the rea realization that we are that and we have always been that. That uh, the illusion of separation is God veiling itself from itself and then unveiling itself to itself. Home is our, our reality, it's one reality. We are home, I slash we, all is home. Home is home, home is reality. Home is being is. Hello, Magdi. Hello, Mina. Thank you so much for this beautiful word. You know, I uh, accidentally I I fell in in uh, some videos from his name is Paramahamsa Vishwananda, and uh, I was very touched about what he's saying and uh, uh, what touched me the most is this devotion and this one-pointedness. You know, I feel that I, I listen to all these satsangs and many things are like clear inside my heart and I know about, about what we are speaking and about what is, is, is what is to do, but I feel some kind I I have the fear that fear is, is maybe not the right word but this devotion this one pointedness this everything is is what you do is for the Lord and for for God and for uh, for this um, serving to this one thing and I there I feel that I I always lose myself in this in this little story, you know, and I would like to have more of this of this urgency of this devotion and of this clarity well, that what, there is really only this. What you? Which you? Yes, which, which you? you? Are you anything else but that? Which you? If there is a, a God for devotion, there is a devotee is still a duality. We're still in the mystic there is still a duality. It's a divine duality, but it's still a duality.
the mind will mislead you and the feelings will mislead you. Yes, it is kind of saying that you are not doing enough to be worthy. What you? End kingdom. Which you? What you? Or, yes. <laughs> Just a thought appears in the in the space, in the space of awareness <laughs> that says you are not doing enough. <laughs> are you inside that thought or are you the awareness? A thought can disguise itself as awareness. It disguises itself as the real you. And it tells you, oh, you are not doing enough. You need to do more devotion. You need to... <laughs> it's a disguise. It's a thought, a trickster thought. It is the virus, the me virus, the, the trickster that disguises itself as consciousness, as that which knows. But anything that appears on the screen does not know anything about the reality which perceives it. You are that reality. So... I usually don't buy these false goods. They are fake gold, fake. They glitter on the surface, but when you scratch, you see it's not real gold. You are that, you are this aware presence. Everything else is narrative, me narrative. I'm not doing enough, uh, he's doing better, she's got that. Uh, last year I had this experience, in 2006 I had a great enlightenment, all of these narratives. So don't get tricked by the trickster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice try, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, Max. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello. Thank you, Max. I just want to quickly um, expose my own trickster because there's the sense of, oh, there's a deep sadness in me. And I still get stuck with this one. The deep sadness is, is not the trickster. It's, there is sadness, and sadness has nothing to do with ignorance. Is it? We perceive an old man crossing the street and. Uh, not being able to do so and getting feeling all uh, lost in the middle of traffic we we feel compassion we rush to help them we see sometimes some parents not being so loving with their children we may feel helpless to do anything 
but we do feel a certain sadness. So I wouldn't conflate uh, sadness with ignorance. I would. Yes, I I hear you when it, but it's uh, maybe then sadness is not not the right word. It's mm -hmm. a, a heaviness with the expectation or the idea that there is something more to be discovered or released. Uh, there is, there is more to be discovered. It depends, you know, on. Uh -huh. What is our uh, understanding at the, at the time we experience uh, some inner maybe even lurking in the background like some something incomplete but, uh, so there's a feeling that there is more to uh, to discover more to contemplate but it, we don't have to go into the me story that's important yes there is more to discover more to explore more to contemplate and Maybe there is some not a full clarity around certain aspects of our life. So yes, there is more an ongoing process of maturing, of learning, of growing, of understanding. But not to make a me story about it, you see. To remain sober about our experience inwardly and outwardly. Yes, some um, an impression of disorder maybe that still is appearing to me. So this is a uh, work to be to be uh, undertaken to be explored yeah life is an exploration you know it's constant discovery and uh, things constantly shifting and changing and we we're learning we're maturing we're growing uh, and uh, the less we are encumbered in the me story, the me narrative, um, the more harmonious the dance is, inwardly and outwardly. And this is what we um, pay attention to the, this default mode of being somebody being being defined defining ourselves in in some way we define ourselves via the past and projections of your thoughts and sensations and stories uh, and if we keep carrying the past the the present is encumbered it's, it's it's the stage there are too many things on the stage so then the dance a lot of people are stepping on each other's feet, you know, there are too many people on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too much. Yeah. <laughs> but 
but sometimes it just feels I'm like torn in a way to just um, accept, um, give some attention to the sadness and just to allow it to just be all over the place or to just have my clarity and maybe a false idea and just push it away as just mind stuff. Mm -hmm. So there I don't know right now mm -hmm. if I'm resisting or if I should allow something. You, you can't really push anything away. That's, um, it's, it's, um, it's hiding something or somebody it's 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 not open it's not and what is it that we're protecting or safeguarding or yeah. a misunderstanding it's misunderstanding So the best is to be not knowing. We don't even know yeah. what what we're feeling right now. We, we don't know. We don't, and we don't need to know and make a narrative about it. We're we're not separate from the bodily sensations, the thoughts, the experiences, the the, the world. The, So, uh, how can this puny mind really figure out this this totality? I mean, there's so many factors that enter in the play of, of what appears to us. But we can, in in the moment, in terms of making a decision be interested in making a decision that is fair, that is that's taking into account everybody, including oneself. Most harmonious way possible. We don't know how it goes, what appears around the corner. It doesn't matter. You know, and we don't have to be this like beyond beyond failure or beyond. He would not, we don't know. I me, mean, I may make your decision now that would be the worst decision a year from now. Say, oh my goodness, what how what a big fool I was to me. <laughs> Well, I was a fool then, you know, <laughs> you know that's, that's what appeared to be, uh, but, you know, as we uh, uh, become more and more clear about the one reality that about consciousness, but that which is and cannot not be, that which we truly are, then we find that the decisions come to us in a way easier, you know, it's there's more more harmony. Yes. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. <laughs>